Some dog owners are going to great lengths to protect their pet. They are spending tens of thousands of dollars on vet bills. Now, Jennifer Hunt from Melbourne paid $8,000 on spinal surgery for her border collie jet. Then a walk on the beach saw him injured again. That was another 10000 So he's cost us $30,000. Jennifer has now set up a pet saving charity fund for other dog owners. And she joins us now, along with Jed and the rest of the family. Jennifer, good morning to you. Good morning. Um, look, it's a lot of money to spend on a dog. A lot of people would say that you're, um, you know, it's, it's excessive. How would you respond? I think a lot of people would think it's excessive, but when you get a dog in your family, they are exactly that part of your family, and um, you'd spend it on any member of your family to get them well again, and he was worth every cent. Yeah, how old is he? How old is he? He's 13 now. We got him when he was three from the Save a Dog scheme in Melbourne, oh. and um, found out quickly that he loved chasing seagulls at the beach. <laughs> so uh, that's always been a favourite habit. It's now uh, that the seagulls help him do his hydrotherapy down at the beach, which is wonderful. Wow. Mm. Hey, look, both of us will declare previous dog owners adore them. I know it's a, and another child, but I know where, where do you where do you draw the line? I know that you're setting up a charity, aren't you, to help other people find that balance. Tell us about it. That's right. We realised that we were very fortunate to be able to get Jed across the line, but most pensioners, particularly the aged pensioners, have no possibility of doing that. And their dogs, their cats, their birds are very important to them. So we decided with, with James, my son here, and my godson, Tom, to set up a charity to help these people to pay for those veterinary bills and get their pet just over the line. So last year, uh, I think we saved how many family pets to, uh, how many 55. families? 55 families we helped in Victoria last year. Oh. Hmm. And this year we're on track to, to double that. So and we were a registered well. charity and- um, So we donations down, are tax deductible. Donations are tax deductible. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've raised about $68,000 and used 60,000 of that. And uh, we're down to our last $8,000. So that makes life very difficult when people are ringing up needing, you know, really to, yeah. with sad, sad stories to try and get their pets over the line. Well, we'll put our, uh, all your details on our website yeah. and link through if people want to donate to the charity. But um, that's a wonderful gesture. Jennifer, nice to meet you. Thank you, fellas. Thank you. And um, don't forget, there is pet mm -hmm. insurance, RSPCA has pet insurance, and I notice I'm with Medibank Private, and um, and they offer pet insurance now too, so... That's a good idea. You know, hunt our around. Tilly, our border collie, uh, got pancreatitis, and it was quite an expensive oh, yeah. exercise, so well, it's a good yeah. idea to have insurance. Well, I thought Lynn was mad when she took out pet insurance, but <laughs> Molly then was diagnosed with diabetes, the cost of insulin is extraordinary, so I'm a big fan of it. <laughs> the gesture, the needle gesture. Anyway, yeah. Stop, stop.